Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at my dad's house right now, that's why the background's like really random. But today, we are going car shopping. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a car today, but not completely positive. My lease is up on my car, so we're gonna turn it in. And I think I'm gonna get the car that I've always wanted. I'm getting it with my own money, so. Yeah, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited. We're going to Mazda. I don't know exactly which one I'm gonna get yet, but you guys will see because I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's go car shopping. What about this? He took me to this car wash where you have to do it yourself. You have to do it yourself. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my God, man. <laughs> My dad has had it with me. He didn't tell me that we were going to this type of car wash. I literally thought that they were gonna do it. Like you drop your car off to them and they do it. But it's like a self car wash thing. So I had no idea what I was doing. He just expected me to know. And so I was like not even on the right lane or anything. It was, it was a mess. The guy that was working was like laughing at me. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> We stopped and got, st oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. We got Starbucks, so I got the Impossible Sandwich and a green tea latte, which is my go-to drink. And I'm really happy that they have these cups now because I always feel bad when I'm drinking out of a straw, a plastic straw, so I'm glad that they have these lids. It makes me so happy. So I'm just eating this. My dad went to go get me napkins because I had to throw all my napkins out of my car and I like was spilling this literally everywhere which is probably bad because we just washed my car. But I'm hungry and I need all the food I can get in my system before dealing with this like negotiating at car dealerships. Like buying a car is never easy so I'm like kind of stressing out but we'll be fine. Hello, we are in the new car. I actually started filming this on Saturday, which was two days ago, today's Monday. I got the car on Saturday. The whole process just took a while. My dad and I were just like super tired, super hungry. He had a dinner that he had to go to and then I was just like out of it and wanted to go home. But I thought I would go ahead and show you guys the car now and give you like a little car tour because um, I want you guys to see it. I did this all myself and I'm so grateful and thankful that I was able to do it honestly at 22 years old. Like I'm just so excited. I've always wanted a Mazda SUV, always. It's always been my dream car and the fact that I was able to do it myself is just so exciting. So I'm so happy and just grateful that it worked out and everything like that. But yeah, so I went to go get Starbucks and I'm driving it. I've been making every excuse to drive this car because I just, you know, was excited about getting it. But the Starbucks that I went to, the line's really long, so I'm gonna go to a different one and then we're gonna park and I will show you guys the car and give you like a full car tour of everything. I literally just parked at some random beach just so I can show you guys what the car looks like. I'm still embarrassed because there's people, but you know what, it's fine. We're gonna show you guys what my little car looks like. This is an overview of the outside of it. So it's super cute, it's just like a tiny little SUV. It's called the Mazda CX-30. It's like one of their newer models. It looks like that and it's so freaking cute. It's so perfect, I got it in a charcoal gray color. What the back looks like. The trunk has so much freaking storage in the back here. If you can see, like, I can fit so much stuff in there, which is amazing. And then when you open it up, it's all leather. I lucked out. It's black leather. It's so nice. That's the back seat. Um, and then, like, the cup holders are out because I'm getting Starbucks. But super cute. And then I didn't notice this before, but there's, like, this blue accent of leather. So it's, like, black and then blue so there's like blue right here I have my little dangly star that I had in my other car I used to have the Honda Civic I don't know if I ever mentioned that in any video but I had a white Honda Civic before this car I love the steering wheel on these I think they're so cute and it's just like so easy to drive and then like I said like more blue accents and things like that this is like the little entertainment screen thing so I'll start the car it's actually a push to start which is amazing, so I don't even have to like put keys in the ignition. I love that, so I'm gonna start it. This is the little like entertainment console, so it'll play my music and just like show everything on there, which I freaking love. This is like the entertainment system, so you use this little thing to scroll and like change. You can like change the settings and things like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much like the overview of the car. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of the car and kind of like what it looks like. I was 
really really aiming for getting an SUV this time around because I was buying this car completely on my own um, I'm actually leasing it but because I was getting this car completely on my own I wanted it to be exactly what I wanted this is it I've always wanted a Mazda SUV like I said and I'm just so excited it's so cute it's perfect it's the perfect size for me and I couldn't have asked for anything better so I kind of wanted to just sit down and tell you guys like everything about the car that I got kind of like what I was thinking going into it and like what car I wanted and all of that because that definitely plays into everything so I went into it knowing I wanted a Mazda first of all I've had multiple different cars my entire life I started out with a really really old Mercedes that literally broke down on me and it was it was not good then I went to a red like bright red Kia hatchback car so it looked like a little cherry and then I had a Mercedes C350 which was like an older one um, that one was a great car, but it had some issues and like had to get work done and stuff like that And it just wasn't reasonable enough And then my last car that I had was a Honda Civic the one that I just had a white Honda Civic and I was obsessed with that car I love that car. I still love that car. I kind of miss it, but obviously love this car more But yeah, so those are all the cars that I've had throughout my driving experience and I knew that my next car was going to be the car that I've always wanted and I was gonna do it myself and not have anyone help me I was paying for my Honda Civic so that was when I started actually like paying for my cars and stuff like that I was really lucky that uh, my mom was able to pay for my cars up until then which you know, I'm really thankful that she was able to do that, but I'm really happy that I'm doing it on my own now. But yeah, anyways, like I said, I knew going into it that I wanted a Mazda. I definitely wanted an SUV. And I was also thinking about like Volkswagen too, but just when it came down to it, I really just wanted the Mazda. So I looked online, honestly, like a couple days before, and I had always wanted the CX-5. It's, I'll put it on the screen, it kind of looks like this. The CX-5 is more of a bigger SUV. They have like a few different SUVs. I think it starts with the one that I got. Then it's the CX-5 and then there's like a CX-7 I want to say which is like a really big SUV and I knew I didn't want a huge one so I saw the CX-5 and I was like okay that's the one I want but they had a different model that was called the CX-30 which is what I ended up getting and that one looked really cool online so I was like okay maybe we'll just we'll go to the dealership and see what they have so my dad took me as you guys saw to the dealership and we saw the cars as soon as we got there I told the guy that I wanted an SUV and I was looking at the CX-5 and the CX-30 so the first car that he showed me was the CX-30 he told me that it was a new model so they had just came out with that version of an SUV I want to say two years ago is what he said so it's a newer model they didn't have it before so that's probably why I wasn't familiar with it because I had always just seen the CX-5 and as soon as I saw it he showed me everything I fell in love and I told him no this is the car that I want. I don't even want to look at the CX-5 like I want this one. We took it on a test drive. He drove it because I'm just super weird about like test driving. I don't know. I just don't want to like crash the car while I'm test driving it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I was scared. So he test drove it and I literally fell in love with it. I'm pretty sure the one we test drove is the one that I ended up getting. Like, my car that I have now that was the exact one but it had leather seats and everything like that and I was honestly going into it. I just wanted either charcoal gray white or black. I really wanted white to begin with, but when I saw it in the charcoal gray color when we test drove it, I was like, wait, I kind of like this one. It looked really sleek. It looked really nice. I was fine with just getting cloth seats. I just wanted them to be black. I just didn't want light seats anymore because in my Civic, I had tan seats and they would just get so dirty and I just, I didn't want tan, but that was all they had in the lot when I got my Civic and I really wanted white. So I was like, I'm not going to do that again. This is the car that I'm paying for. Like I want to do it right and get what I want and not settle. I still had a couple more months on my lease for my Civic. So I was like, if it doesn't work out to get the Mazda today, then I'll just keep my Civic and then we'll just wait until there's something that I really want. So we test drove, like I said, and then we kind of worked numbers and negotiated and like whatever and got to a point where I was comfortable with it. And once we did that, it just so worked out that the numbers matched with the car that we had either the car we test drove or something similar with the leather seats so i got lucky and got leather seats like i wasn't even expecting to get the leather seats and just ended up all working out i was able to turn in my civic and get the mazda and i was so excited like i said it's all on me i'm doing it all myself and i'm just <laughs> so thankful and so grateful and i could get so emotional uh i 
it just makes you feel like a sense of empowerment to be able to just support yourself and like be able to do things for yourself you know and that was a huge goal of mine this year was to get the car that I wanted and to pay for it myself and all of that and I did it so I'm just like so proud of myself and just so grateful and all of that but I thought I would show you guys my car and all of that just to you know if you were interested in a Mazda or you just wanted to see the car that I bought and you were interested in car videos maybe this would be something that interests you disclaimer I am not by any means trying to brag about this car if you know me in person you know that I am so not that person and I had a lot of financial issues growing up so to be able to do this myself is just insane and I'm just so grateful and thankful so I don't want it to come across as like me bragging or anything. I'm genuinely just so, 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 so grateful. I worked really hard honestly to get to this point so I'm just really proud of myself but yeah. So that is going to be it for my car video and me buying my dream car at 22 years old. I am just so beyond excited and it's just everything that I've ever wanted or dreamed of and I just... I can't believe it actually happened. That's what's crazy. And it just all worked out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And make sure to turn on your post notifications so you are notified every single time that I upload a video. I also want to say thank you guys so much for 5,000. It's like 5.1K now on this channel. You guys are literally amazing. I'm so thankful for you guys. And just... Thank you for watching my videos and commenting and liking. It means everything to me, so thank you, and I will see you guys in my next video.